Tejal Ahmed and I am General Manager at Engineering Simulation Company Advanced Engineering Solutions. We hope that you will learn a great deal of engineering simulation with us using the practical problems and validating against high quality experimental data or well established analytical solution. In this CFD course we have covered important aspects of CFD software and CCFX. Now let's start with the first workshop of CFX course. In this workshop we will learn to solve the laminar pipe flow problem at Reynolds number equals 100 and will compare its results with the analytical results which are available in any good undergraduate fluid dynamics book. We would recommend Sengel's fluid dynamics book. In this workshop Reynolds number is kept low so that flow remains laminar. As you see in next that the flow is laminar is Reynolds number is less than 2300. Turbulent pipe flow tutorial is also available. In this workshop, you will learn, how to open CFX and setting working directory. How to read mesh and creating boundary conditions and setting boundary conditions. You will also learn how to create new customized material. You will also learn to create expressions for density, viscosity, lift and drag coefficients. Solver setting i.e. no of iterations, convergence criteria, backup files, output control. After solving the problem, we will post process results in CFD by plotting velocity profile along racial lines near the outlet boundary where flow is full developed. You will also create skin friction plot on cylinder surface and compare to the experimental value. You will also learn to compare two cases sides by side to compare coarse and fine mesh. We will show the function where you can even calculate difference between two meshes by quantitatively measures. We will see how mesh independence study is made by measuring parameter or parameters on two meshes. We will also explain how to plot analytical velocity profile in CFD post. Saving state and loading it to get the same case settings for next simulations. We will first give the overview of this case. Where we will explain case, its theory, and results from CFD and comparison to analytical results. Afterwards we will explain each step, such as geometry and mesh creation in ICEM CFD. Case setup in CFX Pre, solution in CFX Solver and post processing in CFD Post. Here we will review some basics about the laminar pipe flow also known as Hagen, Poisui flow. Reynolds number is defined as the ratio of inertial to viscous forces. So higher the viscous forces, lower will be the Reynolds number and vice versa. Mathematically it is equal to density multiplied by velocity multiplied by diameter and hole divided by viscosity. For internal flow, flow is said to be laminar if Reynolds number is less than 2300. Transitional when it is between 2300 and 4000. And flow is turbulent if Reynolds number is greater than 4000. We now discuss about the fully developed flow. A flow is said to be fully developed, when there is no change in axial velocity along the flow direction. So the velocity profile does not change with length, but it is only function of radial direction. The region up to which velocity profile is changing axially is called hydrodynamic entrance region. After this, we have so called fully developed flow. For laminar flow entrance region is defined by approximately as 0.05 times of Reynolds number. D in subscript shows that the Reynolds number is calculated based on pipe diameter. For example, for Reynolds number of 10, entrance length will be 0.5 units. However, for Reynolds number 2000, entrance length is 100 units, too high. Yes, it is. Differential equation for laminar pipe flow is shown here after making simplification to full Navier-Stokes equations. By applying force balance on the fluid elements of radius R and thickness delta X, we will get that the pressure gradient is equal to ratio of negative twice of wall shear stress to radius. 
by integrating the differential equation for laminar flow in pipe twice and setting boundary conditions as given here, we will have velocity as shown here. Here you can average velocity is given the negative radius square divided by 8 times of viscosity and multiplied whole by pressure gradient. Therefore, velocity profile is given by twice of average velocity multiplied by 1 minus r square by r square. By setting r equals 0, since we know that at center line velocity is maximum. We can see that the maximum velocity is equal to twice the average velocity. The formula to calculate the pressure drop is given here. Pressure drop is important to take into consideration, since it will determine the pump or fan required to pump the fluid inside the pipe. Here F is the Darcy friction factor. This can be shown that for the circular laminar pipe flow, by comparing these two equations, we have friction factor is equal to 64 divided by Reynolds number. This should not be confused by the coefficient of friction also called fanning friction factor named after American engineer John Fanning is equal to one-fourth of friction factor. Here we shall discuss the analytical velocity profile and shear stress in laminar pipe flow. Velocity profile is of parabolic shape. It has maximum velocity at center line and is zero at wall. Shear stress is zero at center line where slope of velocity is zero and is maximum at wall. Variation of shear stress is linear. Velocity plot is plotted is shown here. Only half is shown here, since velocity and shear profile is symmetric around center line. So it can be mirrored to show the full profiles. Here capital R is equal to 0.1 meter as diameter for this pipe is assumed to be 0.2 meter. We can find out the theoretical shear stress at the wall by using the formula for shear stress differentiate the velocity with respect to radius and multiply it by viscosity and putting appropriate values of terms, we have the wall shear stress to be 0.076 pascal. As we have discussed the friction factor formula in last slide. Putting the Reynolds number equals 100, we get the friction factor equal to 0.64. Since the coefficient of friction is equal to one fourth of friction factor. So we can find out the friction factor is equal to 0.16. By using the definition of wall shear stress, which is equal to coefficient of friction multiplied by 0.5 multiplied by density and multiplied by square of average velocity, we get the wall shear stress equal to 0.08 pascal. So there is around 5% difference in both values and which are both of analytical nature. For this case L by D ratio is 40. This is important parameter which is used in literature to compare the results for similar cases. Since entrance length for present case is 5 meters, so the 8 meter length is enough to simulate the fully developed laminar pipe flow. So we will be analyzing flow any axial length greater than 5. For example, we will show the velocity profile at outlet. But as you will see that shear stress deviate from the overall values at inlet and outlet. So any parameter which involves the wall shear stress, you should be careful choosing the location to analyze the flow, especially turbulent flow. For turbulent flow tutorial in CFX and Fluent, please contact us at out email ID shown on the title slide. We are now in position to the give the important parameters for this case. Length is 8 meters. Diameter is equal to 0.2 meter. We will take average velocity equal to 1 meter per second. Density is 1 kg per meter cube. Viscosity can be calculated from Reynolds number formula by putting these values and Reynolds number equals 100. We have, viscosity is equal to 0.002 pascal second. Output we will show you are velocity vectors velocity contours pressure contours velocity profile for two meshes and comparison to analytical velocity profile skin friction coefficient along cylinder wall and comparison with analytical friction coefficient. There are two meshes created for this case. 
One is coarse and contains 37,680 nodes and fine mesh contains 133,200 nodes. It will be shown that the there is no difference in results for both meshes. Which shows that the we have mesh intendant results even for coarse mesh and results shown in this workshop are for coarse mesh. For fine mesh we will explicitly mention that the results are for fine mesh. Mesh was generated in ICEMCFD hexa. It is multi-block structured mesh. Mesh is graded towards the wall to properly resolve the velocity gradients at the wall. O grid is created to get the better control of mesh and have better quality. See the ICEMCFD section which will guide you how to get this type of mesh in ICEMCFD. Here you can see that the pressure drop from the CFD is 13.57 Pascal and whereas analytical pressure drop is 12.8 Pascal. Error is around 3.67%. Fine mesh produces the pressure loss around 13.52 Pascal. Which is very close to coarse mesh results of 13.57 Pascal. Analytical coefficient of friction 0.16 and from CFD coefficient of friction is 0.16042. Error is 0.26%. Here velocity profile is presented for two meshes and analytical formula. As expected maximum velocity, at center of pipe, is 2 meters per second from CFD and compare very well with analytical value as expected. To practice and master CFD, I would recommend you to do the simulation at Reynolds number 80 and 500. You have to decide the domain dimension. Keep the diameter same and check if the length of pipe will guarantee the fully developed flow. As we did before compare velocity profile, coefficient of friction and shear stress from CFD to analytical results for the given Reynolds number. Also make three meshes for each case. You can keep same number of nodes in both cases and see whether you can get the mesh independence at which stage of size of number of nodes. Now watch the step by step tutorial. First we will start with the geometry and mesh generation in ICEMCFD.